Serialization is the process of converting data or an object into something different, like a string of binary or bytes, that can be stored or transmitted so that way it can be reconstructed later. A common use for it is when we make a save system in the game for the player to save the progress. If you'd like to learn more on how to simply save and load, then check out my previous level on it at the top right corner of this video. Hopefully it loads just in time. In this case, I'm going to save and load the current Pokemon party that is visible in the scene. Here is a quick breakdown of the setup in this scene. The Pokemons are simple prefabs that contain sprite renderers to display the actual Pokemon in the scene. Then there is an empty game object called Serialize Manager that will handle saving and loading the Pokemon sprites. There are a few errors that can occur while trying to serialize data, in this case when I try to save the Pokemons. Right now, there is an exception, serialization exception, type serialized Pokemons is not marked as serializable. Unfortunately, with this error message, I can't double click to get to the code, so in the code, there is a struct that I would like to serialize called serialized Pokemon, and I have to give it system dot serializable above the struct. This will fix the marking error. Running it again, it now says that Unity Engine dot game object is not marked as serializable. I think I remember seeing a different error message about this, probably in a later version version of Unity. Right now I'm using Unity 2018, which I should be using 2019, but that's okay. But here's the deal with this one. Game objects can't really be serialized, so we need to come up with a workaround. A way I did it was to assign the Pokemon sprites to their ID. This is like a Pokedex where each Pokemon has its own number assigned to them, the first Pokemon being Bulbasaur, the second one being Ivysaur, and etc. I made the Pokedex like a dictionary, a special container that is mapping the integer, the Pokemon ID, to the Pokemon sprite. I populate it from the inspector in the Pokemon entry list. This was made from a custom serializable struct that only contains an int and a sprite variable because a dictionary cannot be serialized so this is like a workaround for that. The stuff that I really wanted to save to a file is a list of Pokemon IDs in that party. That's where the serialized Pokey registry will come into play. To summarize the save function, I cycle through the current Pokemon party and try to find their ID by figuring out who they are with the help of using the list inbuilt find method. I add that to a temporary list of IDs, then in the end, I provide that temporary list back to the one that I want to save from the serialized Pokey registry struct. So saving like normal down here, uh, serializing it and then closing it, closing the file. As for loading, it loads up the save Pokemon ID and it does a lookup in the Pokédex here to assign the sprite to each Pokemon's sprite renderer. I'm going to go ahead and make the entire team full of Wooloos. Because it's too adorable and I've been thinking about doing a full Wooloo party run for the new Pokemon Sword and Shield game. Can't wait for that. And I'm going to save. Now if I go ahead and change the party up to give it some random Pokemons I think I'm going to stop it here. Maybe add an Eevee here. And then I load the Wooloo Team 6 is back. I hope this helped you at fixing the error or gave you an idea on getting around unserializable data types like game objects. And if it did, leave a like, comment down if you'd like to share how you would handle these errors, and don't forget to subscribe to be able to see when the next level gets uploaded. Please do it for the Wooloos, and I will see you in the next level. Bye!